<laughs> the Jealous Barn Owl La Lechusa is definitely an essential element of our folklore. These eerie creatures, according to popular belief, are often just disgruntled women. They come back from the world beyond to haunt a former lover. It is often a dead wife, who can't stand the good time her old husband is having since he remarried. The barn owls are not ordinarily dangerous. They're simply a nuisance. They bat their wings in the middle of the night. They circle around the lights, shrieking like old rusty windmills. There are times, nevertheless, in which they resort to more violent actions. In the little ranch of La Calvasa, a strange couple come in one day. The man always dressed in black and rarely talked to anyone. His young wife never walked out of the house by herself. He accompanied her all the time, holding her by the hand. People promptly concluded he was a jealous husband, deadly afraid of losing her. On a certain Sunday afternoon, there was to be a big celebration at La Cavlasa. Mr. and Mrs. Langoria were celebrating the baptism of their little daughter. Everyone was welcome. The host made a point to invite personally the newcomers. They accepted the invitation and hand in hand came to the festivities. Around 9 o'clock, a large barn owl started to hover above the crowd, shrieking and dipping over the tables. Once in a while, it would plunge towards the new couple, trying to lodge itself in the lady's hair. The man was deeply protruded. He was repeating again and again, Oh no, she found us again! He grabbed a stick on the ground and took after the barn owl. While chasing it, he kept on uttering words in a language nobody could understand. The creature finally flew away, shrieking louder than ever. The party ended right then and there. No one felt like staying around any longer. Later that evening, the owl was heard again. It was evidently disappointed to find an empty courtyard. A few moments later, Mrs. Langoria screamed as if someone was trying to kill her. The family rushed into the bedroom and couldn't believe what they saw. The owl was biting the lady on the neck, wrapping its wings over her face. Trying as he might, the husband couldn't remove the bird. The situation looked desperate. At that very moment, the man in black walked into the room. He rushed towards the lady, grabbed the owl by the feet, and pulled it away from the woman's neck. He was, at the same time, shouting that same language he had used earlier. The eerie creature, squalling painfully, flew away through the window. Sweating profusely, he fell upon the chair. I've got to tell you the truth, he sighed. That owl is my former wife, who died three years ago in Lebanon. I married again last year. She's tried to ruin our marriage since the very beginning. She's jealous. I can't leave my wife for any length of time because I'm afraid she'll be dead upon my return. We moved from the, our country to get away from her. It took her some time, but she has found us again. I think she attacked you, Miss Longoria. By mistake, she thought we lived together. He added, shaking his head. We won't cause you any more trouble. We'll move tomorrow and go as far away as possible. The man's explanation satisfied everyone, except for one thing. The doors were locked. How had he known what was going on in that room? How had he come in?